We are celebrating a beautiful day today. Today is International Volunteer Day as well, an international observance dedicated by the United Nations since 1985. Now, it offers an opportunity for volunteer organizations and individual volunteers to make visible their contributions because we don't always see these unsung heroes. And what a fitting coincidence that we're also remembering and giving to Madiba today on the same day. Well, importantly, we must also not forget our animal counterparts. We need helping those in need. Yes, we're assisting them with care too. Expressa decided to visit some volunteers who are giving their time up for our four-legged friends. Take a look. Countless scientific studies have shown that volunteering has numerous benefits for our well-being. Combine this with the joy of helping animals and you've got the recipe for success found at Pug Rescue. Pug Rescue started in 2007 and it all started because of a little dog named Scooby who was lost at a school in Kempton Park. And he came to our home because the people that found him knew that we loved pugs. And we tried to find his owners and we did. And in fact, his owners never came to fetch him because they, they, they weren't able to care for him. They then surrendered him to the then Pug Club of South Africa. And that is how Pug Rescue came about in the format that it's in right now. As Pug Rescue, it is incredibly important for us to have a set of volunteers. We have some people that are full-time volunteers and they take care of administration, they take care of home checks, post-home checks, adoption process, and fetching and carrying animals. And then we have people that come here and they volunteer um, when it suits them. And they, th those volunteers we specifically use to come and spend time with the animals. And th through having volunteers in our program, it ensures that we save an enormous amount of money, which we then put back into the actual care for the animals. The work done by volunteers is rewarding for the pugs as well as the volunteers themselves. Seeing happy success stories come into being and helping these dogs find loving homes means everybody wins. I got involved with Pug Rescue about six years ago when I wanted to adopt a dog. Pug Rescue wasn't yet up and running, but they had a, a little black pug that needed a home. So needless to say, my family adopted the black pug and it was history from then on. Um, I decided to become a part of Pug Rescue just because I like the way that Pug Rescue's run. Cheryl and Malcolm do an outstanding job and my values and the shelter's values seem to line up. So it was a, it was a perfect fit. So it's rewarding for me to be a part of Pug Rescue and see the dog's development and be a volunteer because um, I'm involved with the dogs from start to finish. So when the dogs come in, I can see sometimes they're from really bad cases and their personalities are kind of broken. Um, we then rehabilitate them, we work with behaviorists and once they get adopted, it's, it's, it's bittersweet because we, we really do love the dogs and we know we're gonna miss them. But it's so rewarding to see them get that home of their own and their personalities come out and their true colors really shine. So uh, as rewarding as it is for the dogs to have volunteers around, I, I think it's a lot more rewarding for us because it really makes our hearts full to be with these little flat-nosed babies. They're so cute. I've been here for about nine months and it was actually my kids who got me involved. Um, we've always had larger dogs when I grew up and um, when my boys sort of reached the age of 16 and could flex some muscle and said, Mom, it's now time for us to get their dogs, we got our first pug. From that, they sort of cottoned on to Pug Rescue and said, Mom, we want to get involved and I brought my son through and from an afternoon on playing with dogs <laughs> has been like nine months of five days a week and it's been fantastic. There's a multiple of reasons why it's so rewarding, not only from a soul aspect and from a karma aspect, but to see these little ones find their future homes and the happiness that that brings, it just brings you happiness. And of course there's that old saying that through giving brings blessings. And I can really, really vouch for that. We would love for the public to get involved in Pug Rescue and our Tanda Injure project. Some people fundraising. Fundraising is another function at Pug Rescue which is solely run on, on a volunteer basis. And so if people contact us, they can let us know exactly how they would like to get involved. And then we will then put them on to the different people that actually head those projects within the organization. To lend your support to Pug Rescue, visit pugrescue.coza. If you'd like to make a difference in other areas of interest, there are bound to be loads of organizations in your community who'd love a helping hand.